Welcome again to my channel. This is Teacher Eman. And for Trans Network and Critical Thinking in the 21st Century, we're going to talk about Information Communication Technology or ICT. The 21st century had been characterized as the information age. No doubt, one of the greatest achievements of this age has something to do with the technology, especially the increasing power of communications. ICT is providing an extraordinary opportunity to hone our critical thinking and problem-solving skills, communication skills, creativity, and innovation. ICT is an extended term for information technology or IT which stresses the role of unified communications and the integration of telecommunications. The phrase information and communications technology has been used by academic researchers since the 1980s and the abbreviation ICT became popular after it was used in a report to the UK government by Dennis Stevenson in 1997. The benefits of ICT is to economic, political, social, cultural, and personal. Researchers make it clear that ICT advances social improvement by sharing learning, encouraging social innovativeness, expanding popularity, base support, and upgrading social cohesion. We are challenged to harness the potential of information and communication technology to promote the attainment of a more peaceful, just, and prosperous world. ICT positively affected the life of the members of the society or the digital citizens through education. Many educators are already using and infusing technology as a teaching learning pedagogy through the use of different platforms. Kaya ngayon mga teachers ngayon, di ba, as much as possible, kahit sa amin sa school namin, meron na kami kahit paano television kung saan pwede namin i-connect ang aming mga laptops para naka-projector na, or naka, para naka-powerpoint na lang kami para magbabasa na naman sudyante. And also, we can include music, di ba yung mga sounds, and even videos para makadagdag sa learning process ng mga sudyante. Kasi nga, kung puro sulat lang sa blackboard, yung iba kasi tinatamad na. And also, for business, most entrepreneurs are making use of the internet and social uh, networking sites to promote their businesses and products. So, pasok dito mga Facebook, Lazada, Shopee, Grab, and also Foodpanda. For government in the Philippines, many transactions with government offices are now possible and available online. Applications for birth certificates, passports, NBI, and the like are maximized by for some Filipinos. Kaya nga iba nga if you're, you want to apply for an AB, NBI clearance, kailangan mag-online muna kayo, online registration before going to NBI itself para makuha nyo ang inyong NBI clearance. Computers, email, internet, fax machines, mobile phones, are only among the information communication tools that can be considered an integral part of work activities in almost all companies or institutions in the Philippines and abroad. The development and access of different technologies like wireless networking and mobile devices significantly transform users into content producers. ICT and Global Networks With ICT, in our schools, learners are not only consumers but content creators as they write, edit, publish, participate, co-create, and collaborate with others through the use of technologies. ICT hastens global and democratic network access the planet. The internet is an apparatus for causal connections as well as open spaces where individuals can voice out their issues. ICT can generate global social awareness through social networking sites like for example Facebook and Twitter 
and social networking sites can also facilitate the mobilization of grassroots movements and advocates especially among the younger generation kasi nga mostly the younger generation o katulad kayo mga sudyante ang mostly gumagamit ng mga social networking sites. ICT promotes social development by sharing knowledge, fostering cultural activity, increasing democratic participation, and enhancing social cohesion. Technological advances have improved life and brought the world's people closer. History of ICT So for computer, it started 3000 BC with Abacus as the first calculator. 1833, Charles Babbage designed the analytical engine which became the concept of a digital, digital programmable computer. 1931, the first electronic calculator was assembled by Conrad Zeus. Radio and television. In 1894, Guglielmo Marconi invented the wireless telegraphy or the radio telegraph system which paved way to the development of radio. 1920s, the commercial radio or the, and the earliest television transmission. 1940s, the colored television. For telephone, 1876, Alexander Graham Bell invented the telephone. 1930s, widespread of telephone sets. 1970s, mobile phone technology. 1970s, the earliest mobile phone was sold. So, ito yung picture ng uh, pag-progress ng telephone uh, technology from Alexander Graham Bell until now na ginagamit natin ng mga wireless, heads, uh, wireless hand, uh, handheld phones. Late 20th century, the computer development. In 1971, it is the introduction of the first microprocessor made by Intel. 18, 1981, initial version of computers by IBM. 1991, creation of the World Wide Web or the WWW by Tim Lee. Recent developments of ICT. Desktop computers were made portable because of tablets and also laptop. Dati kasi puro desktop ang mga computers yung malalaki. So ngayon, portable na siya kasi pwede natin daling kahit saan. Mobile phones innovation, so internet, camera, radio, television, data storage, calculator, and many more are now the features of your ordinary mobile phone. What are the advantage, disadvantages of the use of ICT? Number one, we have the cost. More and more resources are being put into ICT in schools. The cost of laptops, wireless broadband, projectors, for example, contribute a large percentage of school's budget. So, sa iba, for school budget, yung iba naman sa mga magulang, kasi syempre, kung pag mga bata magla-laptop na, syempre, medyo mapapagasto sila. Number two, we have the misuse of ICT. So, instead of using their laptops or tablets for their studies and online tests, more often than not, students stray away and visit social networking sites such as Twitter or Facebook and then students will be too focused on playing games or visiting social networking sites. So this will result to lower academic grades. So we have number three, we have school bags and laptops. So each student who own a laptop with a heavy textbook, notebooks, homework are quite burdensome to the student's back. Schools are becoming more dependent on e-learning, but textbooks are mostly print publication. Hence, the weight of this laptop, textbooks, and homework may bear health consequences in the near future. Yun nga, in my part, medyo may problema nga kasi nga, ayan, this is my new laptop. Ang laki. So, yung dati kong ginagamit is netbook. So, magaan lang siya ngayon. Laptop na. So, good luck na lang kasi 
with this kind of laptop, I need another bag. So, butin lang din, they provided a free bag for this. So, imagine you already have a backpack na dala-dala mo kasi ando dun yung mga ibang lecture, ando yung mga notebook ko, tapos may class, syempre may class record, and then I have a laptop pa. So, sa mga estudyante, ganun din, mabigat din yan, especially for college student. Kasi nga may mga schools na they need for projects, ganyan, mga researches, so importante ang laptop ngayon. Now, let's go with digital divide. This is a natural consequence of advancement in ICT. This is a discrepancy in people access and related, uh, skill related to ICT. So, what are the factors? Kasi ang pagsinabi natin digital divide, it divides a group of people pagdating natin sa information technology. So, the factor kung bakit may division is, for example, geographic allocation. Kasi nga, there are parts of the Philippines or in, the, in another country kung saan hindi inaabot ng technology or kahit sabihin natin kahit kuryente. So, hindi sila, hindi nila nagagamit itong ICT. Another one is economy or income kasi not everyone has the capacity to buy gadgets. Then, we also have the age. Kaya lang ngayon, mas magagaling pa nga minsan yung mga bata pagdating sa paggagamit ng mga cellphones and even laptops. And also the education, yung iba naman the race, at yung iba government support. So we have the levels of disparity of digital divide. So for level 1, the disparities of ICT between people living in different parts of the world. So example is the developed countries and the developing countries. So we have for level 2, inequalities, opportunities of ICT use so within the country. So yung kanina, country to another country, but this for level 2, within the country. So in the Philippines, may mga, ta, may mga group of people tayo na they can, uh, they can buy, but we also have kind group of people that we cannot buy. So hindi natin kaya yun. So for example, a person with low income education is likely to be excluded from information flows and networking. Kaya kung makikita natin, di ba, for now, we are in, uh, meron tayong COVID ngayon, so hindi, lahat, hindi nakakapasok walang face-to-face class. So ngayon, binibigyan kayo ch- choice. Anong gusto nyo? Online class, modular, or blended? So, in some public schools, syempre, hindi, na, hindi nila kaya mag- online kasi nga of course you will need gadgets so they're going to go modular but some naman kaya nila modular kaya nila online so they go with blended so iba naman paano mas gusto nila more of ano na lang uh, more of online lang ganyan so papadala na ng mga teachers through their emails lang yung mga lessons nila or through group chats so may kita natin dito pa lang sa Pilipinas mga pasok na yung digital divide. So, for level 3, participation in a democrat, democracy and the possibilities that may develop after the digital revolution. So, for example, although children and the youth expressing ideas and opinions about issues with cell phone, there is less interaction between the children and the parents. ba? Kasi nga, kakain na lang tayo. For example, sa pamilya, Nakain nilang yung ibang mga tao, lagi nakatitik sa cellphone, ibang may dalang mga tablets for social gatherings, yung mga magkakaibigan, magkikita na nga lang, minsan na nga lang magkikita, tapos puro pa nakatutok sa cellphone. Diba? So to maximize the potential and benefits of ICT and to fill the gap caused by the digital divide, so government must train and educate the citizens in accessing ICT equipment by providing better economic and social condition to make it possible for them to acquire the equipment. So thank you very much for watching. That's it for this topic. And if you are new to my channel, you can subscribe to my channel and also hit the notification bell and please like my video. And I will see you again on my next topic.